So I'm here to report some news. So this is going to be a quick short video and then some of my thoughts. So Bethesda, you guys know who Bethesda is. They used to make, well, they arguably, I guess you could say they still make some great games. But lately they've been killing their reputation. Um, they have basically taken original content from the shitty game Fallout 76. Yes, I called it shitty. And they are taking that content and reselling it as a micro transaction as five dollars. Now, um, this has been done before. They're doing the same thing that uh, Konami did with Meta Gear Survive. I will get to that in a second. But let's first talk about this huge deal. So I feel sorry first off for the people who bought the game when it first came out. Fallout 76 is a blatant cash grab. It is not a complete game. It's just servers are terrible at launch. The game itself makes no sense. No, it just does not comfort. You can't, it's not cohesive with all the other Fallout games. Fallout 76 also is just like you, they charge you these things that don't really make sense at all either. I skipped the game. I had a friend, a buddy at work that always wanted, they always loved playing Fallout games, but I understood. It's utter shit. Like, it's just, like, the only games I love are the main storyline games. Um, I love Fallout Vegas, uh, Fallout 4, Fallout 3, Fallout 2, Fallout 1. Like, I love those games. I even like their mobile game, Fallout Shelter. But, Recently, they Bethesda has been going through this process of changing all their games into online service games, and for them to take original content and then redo like this is something you gave to the player when they first bought your game, and then you take it and turn it into a microtransaction. So the feature's taken out, and then they have to rebuy it. What the fuck? Talk about sucking, milking your fan base, and you're killing your franchise at the same damn time. What the hell is going on, Bethesda? What are you doing? What the fuck? Have you not seen what EA has went through? They're trying to build their reputation. Maybe they can with Star Wars uh, Fallen Order, Jedi the Fallen Jedi Order or something like that. I think it's going to be a great game. But you can't, like EA suffered a lot from that Star Wars Battlefront 2 Fallout. So Bethesda, get your shit together before Fallout becomes a Fallout. Before it just becomes trash. Okay? Get shit done. Okay! Get it. Do it. Make a good game and leave it at that. Stop fucking milking money. Stop trying to siphon every fucking dollar from the consumer, from a game, from a gamer. It's just so disgusting. It's so egregious. And I just simply don't have any tolerance for it. And if I have to make a video and voice my opinion, it's fucking so be it. Okay? Now let's get to Medicare Survive. If you guys are wondering, well, how did this happen? What did Konami do? Well, and arguably, what Konami did was worse. <laughs> so, literally, in Meta Gear Survive, they made you pay $5, I think it was. Or was it 10 I don't remember. You had to buy this in-game currency. I think, I think it was in-game currency, maybe it was real money, whatever. But you had to buy your save game slots. I shit you not. You had to pay money, real money, to save your game data. Let that sink in. You had to, to pay money. Something that is a feature is already built in the fucking game system. They turned it into a profitable... Oh, oh it wasn't profitable. The game failed, too. It, they turned it into a shitty microtransaction. This is similar in a way. You taking a you taking content that was originally available and then making it 
something that can be sellable. That's basically what Bethesda's done with Fallout 76. But I will say Metagear Survive was worse. Because they took a core fucking functionality from the hardware itself. Flipped it so you can buy it. So you can use the feature. Well, that speaks with my money all the way. I'm going to take that game out, break that shit, throw it in the trash, take another game, stick it in, and there you go. Fucking dude. What is with the game industry, man? What are the what is going on? Get it together. <laughs> Stop. I want to play my games and not have to feel like, oh, if I play if I play this part of story mode, it's going to become fucking DLC next week, you know? <laughs> ah, this is the state of the world we are living in.